Today we're in uh, Chambers Bay, which is the mouth of Shady Camp or the Mary River system. Uh, we're in a small coastal creek. We've got fresh water coming off the floodplains, which is full of nutrients, all the food source, mullet, cherubin, there's a good barrow just there. And what we're doing at the moment, we've got the shimmer shrimp on and we're imitating a cherubin that's pretty much coming off the floodplains. And there's barrow lying in wait hard up against the bank. Every now and then popping out, having a look for a feed, then tucking back in out of the current. So it's exciting fishing because it's super tight. Gotcha! Yes! Good fish. No, oh, he's gonna smoke me in the trees. <laughs> Yo. I'm the shimmer shrimp. New 150 mil. We ate it. Oh, yeah, nice fish. One of the techniques, rather than using the uh, traditional minnow or, or soft plastic to imitate in a mullet, um, I like to use the shimmer shrimp. This is the 150 mil. Uh, you can see it's a nice dark natural colour, got the red belly. So I'm imitating a cherubin. So as you know, barramundi love prawns, cherubin. Um, they're pretty irresistible. So this is another really good technique to try uh, if they're not eating um, mullet shaped lures. These fish are suspended, so they're not uh, on the bottom. So just a steady retrieve. The shimmer shrimp's got a nice pulsing action to it. So those vibrations definitely get the barramundi's attention in that high water column. But the good thing about them, you can, if just, for example, if we're in a lot stiller water, a lot cleaner, and the fish were hard on the bottom, we'll be letting it sink to the bottom. Slow rod tip lift, let it flutter up, and then drop it back down. But at the moment, we're just doing the steady retrieve. Pretty simple and very effective. Oh, he's actually not a bad fish. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Look at that. Northern Territory Barramundi. Thank you. It's a tight little creek and there is lots of big crocodiles, so... See you, mate. Oxygen through the gills, off he goes. 